Go to act as an initiator, who is very hard to kill, which is strong. But I still think the flame guard has its merits. Five it seconds does. Remaining. It certainly does. I, I personally feel that by going flame guard, it really delays your slide of fist. Uh, and it, it yeah, really it inhibits your mid-game fighting, which I think that's where the strength of the hero lies, the mid-game fighting. So either you have to burn a lot of your uh, high remnants to actually initiate, uh, and then just not Virtus have a way to Pro's actually do that first damage, the three fire spirit damage. Oh, well, we'll see. Uh, I think G is one of the few players that still do that build consistently, but I don't think he's actually playing today. It's going to be a stand-in mm. named Steep. One thing about Ember Spirit, he's one of the like top three best heroes of silence in the game, I'd say, like him, him and Storm Spirit. Yeah, like silencing an Ember is killing an Ember, more Yeah, or he less. does nothing without uh, spells. And Doom pretty much silences it pretty well, remaining. I think. Well, oh, he doesn't just silence it, he makes it so you can't use items either. Yeah. Five so, I mean, that's like rough. Remaining. That's when uh, you just take your hands off your keyboard and you're like... Silence, 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 silence. Silence, 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 silence. By the way, can they please fix that? Well, I think like, it's you hilarious. You know how annoying that is. What? When you Tell get like nice. silence or something and you're just hitting an ability, waiting for like your silence to wear off, yeah. you like two seconds, you're just silence, 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 silence. It's, silence, it's a good silence. taunt. It's, it's yeah. like a, it's, it's like, 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 no, I'm not like, supposed to do it. Rip my headphones like, off. How did you ever like, team pick. it doesn't happen to you that you're like one second away from refreshing Virtus a cooldown and you just start casting so that you can cast it like, it's not time yet, yeah. it's not time, it's the same thing. My yeah, but the one. audio loop doesn't go like after 0.2 seconds. It actually says the whole thing yeah. before it's like, Starting a new one? I don't know. Not, I, I, I can't can like this. Yet. this is ready, 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 ready Actually, when I get Doom, I start beatboxing. Okay. I'm like, set the silence, set the silence. Bruno must get Doomed a lot because he's getting pretty good at this. What happens when you get chicken? I should say, like, when you get chicken instead of like silence. Didn't it do that in Warcraft 3? Yeah, yeah. Like, he would just make chicken noises. Is it? Yeah. But it's only the the rusted chicken. In Warcraft 3, it just makes that. You know the how? <laughs> Remember the how? That was a sheep. No, that's, no, no, that's not a sheep. a sheep. I'm trying to em emulate the silent sound from Warcraft 3. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's like high pitch. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. God, none of these are even close. No, the, my, my one was... I don't remember what it sounds like. I, I, I do remember the, the global silence. That was a... Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. We're gonna... We're gonna... What was the Mask of Madness one? Ah, ooh. That was the bloodlust. That was the howl. That's, howl. Howl. that's, that's not even... For Cosmodan. No. Oh, that's that right. It, it wasn't the bloodlust noise, because that was the... The, the bloodlust noise was like, more like... Was that it, yeah? <laughs> Pretty much. I can't deal with this. You guys have the worst, like... Uh, you said for Cosmodan, like, you were reading the morning thank paper. Seconds. Yeah, <laughs> thank God none of us are actually voice actors, because we would all be instantly fired. Hey, you said my dream is ruined. Uh, maybe. Mm. You might not have found your calling it, Shin. Damn it. That's all I'm gonna say. Dire team pick. But we are quite a bit into the draft here. Uh, Empire, they've got an invoker, yeah, they've got a Doom, they've got a Bane and a Mirage. Virtus so Pros they definitely have some fight potential on their hands. And VP, we were talking a little bit earlier about the Searing Chains versus the Flame Guard build. Although I guess technically you still get them both. I think actually delaying Sleight of Fist for this type of a team might be okay. Just because of the fact that they have a Centaur for initiation. And you can always use your spirits to run away. Yep. Right, so, I mean, the, the method of initiation is always there, plus they have Disruptor Kinetic Field, and Virtus they have Earthshaker, so there's actually two heroes pick. or three who can keep people in range of the Flame Guard for a pretty long period of time, I would say. Now, the question is, if the laning does become Ember versus Invoker mid, do you say, forget about the laning, we're going to just look towards what the build could do in the mid game, and then go with the Flame Guard like you suggest? Or do you say, hey, Kane and Slavifitz gives me the best chance against Invoker? I think that in a specific one versus one, Ten the chain slide of fist remaining. build is better for just being able to harass and lane mm -hmm. and being able Five to freely uh, see remaining. us. But I also think Phantom that any Quaswex oh. Invoker or any Exo Dire Invoker will still pick. eventually beat an Ember, like no matter what. Yep. Like I think you just lose that lane. But I think the uh, the three four zero build loses it less. Okay. What's with the PL pick? Like, what, what do they see with Team Empire's team that they say, okay, PL's a good hero? Well, they have a Doom, right? And they don't necessarily have a ton of lockdown. Bane is a grip. They're going to have Cold Snap, a Doom, and an Arrow, essentially. So, outside of Nightmare, which Ten I don't really consider remaining. things that don't actually straight up kill you, like, by being disabled, a disable. Five because if you're just Nightmare and you're sitting there, you're not really taking any damage. Right? You are taking damage. Well, okay, it's HP removal. It's 20 a, 20 a second, right? Time. Hey, it's like 80 damage at level 1. Okay. So it does a little bit of damage, but my point is you <laughs> want to give multiple targets for the Doom to think about actually Dooming in this case, 
And I think picking a hero like PL against a team who has essentially no counter push whatsoever, like Starstorm, Scorched Earth, and maybe a Meatball, if the Invoker goes XOR even. We don't even know if that's going to be the case yet. Mm -hmm. I think it's quite strong since they've already picked Earthshaker, which is a hero that viably could have been picked by Empire after they've seen a PL, but they picked it last. So not only did they counter pick the like Earthshaker for themselves, but they also took the PL just as a say, okay, if it goes past like 35, 40 minutes, then we're going to have a decent chance at winning because your team is just not good at dealing with my hero. Ten Do you think remaining. the Earthshaker, given the fact that Ember Spirit kind of loses very bad against Five Invoker, remaining. Think, yeah, Rose, yeah. turn to pick. But I think it's actually obvious uh, to the point where Empire. I would actually surprised if they didn't. Then you can just pull to the big camp. I don't think it's even that big a deal. Well, the thing is, you actually are more there for denying the creeps than you are getting experience yourself. Because battle. if you're playing against an invoker, you want to at all costs deny experience. Yep. Like, sure, stopping him from farming a little bit is nice, but really the levels, I think, are what make the invoker the biggest threat because you need levels to make sure you have the strongest ranks of your spells. So with that being said, if you can pull to the Ancients, you kill three creep waves before the Ancients die. You, you can pull to the big camp and then pull the medium camp into it. I know you can kill the whole creep wave as well. Yeah, but you can't do it, like, every single wave True, is the point yeah. because you have to spend more time in the woods. But I think both are honestly still fine. I just think being able to do it to the Ancients is a bit better in terms of the dying experience. So we're going to see Offensive Trialing coming out. I, I know you were talking about the draft and, and what the PL could do, but I just want to remind when Bruno asked us, you know, how do you think VP could win this game? I think it, both Andy and I said they need to be aggressive in, the, in either killing them or defending the Tier 1 tower. I really don't think this lineup has much for aggression, aside from, you know, Centaur getting level, level 6. So Ooh. personally, I, I don't think this is uh, the draft that will beat VP. Or sorry, that would be the Empire. Lanscore is hiding in the bushes. I think I think Fraser might be in trouble. Be like Fraser's one of the best. Okay, not when he gets stunned. He's oh, yeah, two people stunned. Splurf is gonna be on top. Yeah, that's first. first one. They might even go for two. Focus. NS. He's taking quite a bit of damage as well. That's only one base armor, guys. That might be two for no special. It's a double kill for always want to fly. He just starts the game with a casual 650 gold. No big deal. <laughs> okay, so NS tried to remove the nightmare there, but he was a little bit too slow. Yep. And the Earthshaker still got arrowed. So what I was going to say, actually, before that level one fight... And regenerate. Yeah. Regeneration! That, I mean, Regeneration. that's just insult to injury, You know honestly. what the most embarrassing thing is? They saw that coming. Vanscore hitting the bushes, man. He's a stealthy ninja. Yeah, they, they didn't actually see Vanscore. I mean, no, no, no. They saw the trialing coming in. So what's your reaction? Your reaction is either, hey, they're in a jungle. Let's get back. And if you want to charge in and fight, you don't lead with the Earthshaker. Your Earthshaker is your best defensive hero. I don't know. Maybe the, he's the tankiest, so maybe it was... Uh, he, he definitely also died first. Well, I think because of the fact that they've already given away two kills means already this lane for VP, I think, was going to be kind of tough. Now I think it's going to be try to minimize our losses. Yep. To be fair, I think once they we get level two say, with Glimpse no, online, they no. definitely can get a kill with Lance, a Swall's Lightning Strike, and a, and a Fissure. Oh, they, oh. They, they get the arrow. Do they want to take the sleep? They do. Well, that's yes. fine. I mean, they're going to just oh. now go on Illidan instead. Illidan's just down to about half HP. I both care a couple of arrows. Here comes the Fissure. The Lance is going to go on Vanscore as well, just trading a couple of nukes. But I think with Empire being a level higher, that they got so much more experience, yeah, they're, they're fine. They're fine trading. Bruno was talking about Mag being the best Doom in the world. He got his he Doom. He got his Doom. And he's uh, got three creep kills right now. Yep. Compared to Arsart, who's 8-1. and one. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, he's lasting on a tower. I think it's actually kind of hard to lane Doom against Centaur. Because Centaur's animation is actually extremely fast. Yeah. And his base damage is quite high as well. And you can actually control Lasted very well by getting a point into return. Yeah. Like, you creep aggro, you get mm -hmm. them to hit you, and then you just time it properly. Yeah. I'm also surprised that Mag hasn't made a journey south to, uh, or at least into a jungle to get that one creep. Yeah. Just get him the quick level uh, too. The HP buff creep. It looks like it's been warded off, so we're not going to see that. I was going to block your screen, Shane, and then I realized that the camera was no longer on us. It's fine. People love Vitek gizmos like that thing. Yeah, this is like my, my godsend, really. I've been so spoiled by having an observer that, like, when I had to observe my own games, I was, like, sad. I just, I just want to watch somebody else observe so I can talk about what's happening. But still, pretty fantastic start for Empire, I gotta say. Oh, Arrow? 
Yep, it's not gonna hit an Illidan. The Splurf's gonna hit a Swab. Fissure, though, that's gonna like, at least trap one of them out. They have a Sentry on the ground. They're not gonna focus in. They're gonna focus on Jotam instead. No, that's actually a Radiant Sentry. They're yeah. done the Shrike and a couple more right clicks. Jotam low enough. They're gonna destroy that Sentry. Yeah, no I think the Sentry's in the tower range. So, yeah, that, the Sentry just trades. Oh, he got it. Yeah, I think it's still okay, though, because the other Sentry got the D Ward as well. Yeah, yeah. Which means that now VP basically have no vision on this side of the map, which is pretty terrifying if you think about it. Yep. Also, VP is complete out of region on basically all of their hero. They want they have like one, two clarities left on the Earthshaker, but that's pretty much it. When you look at VP's trial lane, they have two melee heroes and one ranged hero, and Empire have three ranged heroes. I think yep. that actually affects trial lanes like always right clicking. Well, this trial lane not that much because Silence really the only range hero in the sense because both of the other range heroes just like in the jungle hiding uh, waiting for their initiation but if yeah you, if you go on someone you can get way more right that's that's though. definitely true and also you can see that you know the, the melee carry is not getting much cs and every time he tries to do so silent is gonna Dyer's top tower is under attack yeah i think the the biggest issue right now for vp is that the only relief they have for their lanes yes. is going to be either the centaur or the ember spirit roaming arrow is going to land on jotam underneath the tower but Unfortunately, no follow-up. He's just going to land. He does have leap if he wants to use it. And us trying to get close enough to glimpse, but I think it's only level 1, so I'm nice not even sure try. if he'll be able to get him after the leap. Yeah, it is. So, <clears throat> Illidan is, uh, he's got three creep kills, man. It's not looking great. Is he getting correct skill build, though? Well, yeah, in this case. It's the only skill build, really. Yeah. I don't think you really can have anything else at level 3, can you? Max Juke the boss. Yeah, but, I mean, you're going to get one rank of Doppel Walk if you're in a tri lane versus tri lane. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just... Start getting them stats, Like, man. that's going to happen. If you get something get other than Lance, I would be Dyer's really surprised. Dyer's tower is under attack. Like, I just... The, one, one point for the Lance is just slow. You know, and, and just call it a day. No, you always want to rank up Lance. Yeah, but getting stats after this isn't so bad, I don't think. Right, I mean, the other thing I want to talk about is that Silence got that Ring of Beslavia since, you know, minute one. So they're getting the, the passive mana region. Meanwhile, everybody else on the Radiant side is not. Here comes a gank on the mid lane. Cold Snap is at the ready. They have the Force Spirit. Oh, Steep. Not sure, man. You've got the Flame Shield, but this is all pure damage coming your way. Yeah, I don't know. But doing a lot. Okay, Ash. still. Okay. All right. Oh, no, he ran actually in front of the trees oh. instead of behind. Vanscore going to walk into tower range. Oh, die. No second sleight of fist. Going to be A-OK. -okay. Man, that flame guard saved him. Cold snap damage. Yeah. Okay. It would have <laughs> yeah. killed him. That's yeah, true. Would've. Also, if he had a side of fist, he might have killed the bane. You know, you could look at it one way or another. Yeah, but he only would have had what two, maybe three points in a side of fist. Yeah, three side of fist and chain. He didn't even uh, use yeah. the chain. He wouldn't have to do No, he did use chain. Oh, mag. Gonna get ganked top. Here comes the center ult. Nice fissure blocks him decently, but they just don't really have a whole lot of damage. Oh, oh, dealing glimpse. at the glimpse back. There we go. <laughs> doomed out. Best team in the world, boys. He's gonna okay. get denied. Oh. Oh. Okay. Close. Okay. He did. The stout shield proc. Someone healed me. He's trying to stay alive so hard right now. I just got a kill, boys. What a guy. He even bought a ring of regen at the side shop. He's I like, saw please, that, yeah. I don't want to die. But, I mean, he didn't give any experience away. So. We're gold. It's fine. It's biggest, not... um, the biggest concern that I have is... Illidan has been left to his own devices bottom. I think VP kind of just said, okay, there's no way we're going to win this lane, even if all three people are here. Yep. So we might as well try to make something happen elsewhere. Let those heroes snowball come back for Illidan later when we know that we can actually afford to move our other solo laners. Yeah. Because right now it's kind of all on them, right? Like it's it's all on the Ember and it's all on the Centaur making sure that they can actually make stuff happen to try to buy him room. There uh, always some flies going to come. It drops a sentry. I, I think Earthshaker saw that. Uh, but there's always argument that they could have made a gone with that center ultimate at the bottom lane, but no, they didn't. So looks like the Lancer is actually going to be doing fine back in the mid lane, though. Getting out resolution, they want to go on the Fissure, going to hit, and they do have the chain. They do have, of course, that flame shield. Resolution might go down, but look at the damage coming out here from Always Want to Fly. Tower now going on NS. Oh, one more hit. The range creep's going to get the kill. Always Want to Fly Radiant still going to chase the lightning low attack. cooldown. It's got the range. Oh. oh, and ladies and gentlemen, this is why you put the ward over here. I'm trying to ping. Holy <laughs> shit. Bro, we may actually just tabbed out of Dota. Stun. All right. Eat some of the trees. Vanscore Ooh. comes in, gets stunned in tower oh, range. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, always want to fly. I think he's actually. How many kills is he right now? Five. Five. five and all. All. They're gonna be able to glimpse. Always want to fly the big back. Streak, though, the this big is gonna streak. be money. This is gonna be big. Wait, where is that spirit going? Okay. It's just. Oh. The, the, the prevention. Oh, the next Give level. Oh. 
<laughs> what a greedy guy. All right, I'm going to start drawing something on the map, okay? So you see this observer ward over here? You want to always press uh, p place it over here because that sees into the vision of these trees. And if you had it, lightning would have got the kill. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> I mean, they killed him anyway. They Although, did. Always want to fly. But they lost on the track as a result. Next level warding from the A 5 and Ola Shrek at 7 minutes into the game. It's not often, I mean, let me let me put it to you this way. He has as many kills almost as Illidan has CS. <laughs> it's pretty harsh. That is... Illidan has 16, alright? Don't pick on Well, I mean, before it was. I mean, he's starting to get some creeps now, but still, maybe not the greatest time he's ever had. My discipline vulgar, and he at that big bird. It's Sesame Street. Yeah, now. I hate it too. Just like you'd hate it. Centaur. Radiant's bottom tower Radiant's is under attack. Is under I don't think you can go here though. Too scary. Getting in some space. This is the start you want from uh, Invoker. Just getting assist gold, never dying, and getting a nice early start with a hand of Midas. Like. No, oh, I, I got it, man. Put it yeah, on the screen, Andy. To, go on. I had to two-hand it. You know, this is a two-hand monitor. Andy, lash it there. It's fine. No, oh, it's. I, I'm good. I specifically moved over just to make sure that you could actually see the screen. Oh no! Don't you under duress? Though? Oh, I'm not under duress. I'm just sleeping. I made the mistake of waking up crazy early, and then I couldn't go back to sleep. My body was just like, "Nope, you're up." Boom. And now I'm like, I'm like trying hard to focus, man. I actually woke up so late today, like half three. I, yeah, I know. I wore a towel around for an hour. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, glimpse. Fan score. Gonna get pulled back here, NS. He's he's on retreat, man. He does not want to be here. He just throws in a casual auto attack. The sunstroke comes through after the split earth. Sagan very, has very been dead. Arms up, dude. Can you get a range for a nightmare? Yeah, he's Jordan getting has no uh, mana. The jukes, the lep, the leap gave him a little bit of boost of MS. Didn't matter though. On attack speed. Very That's important not attack speed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget about attack speed. Hey man, speed. max leap gives you 32 attack speed. Yeah, it's leap. legit, like. Good, good. Pretty slow game. I think a slow game does favor Virtus Pro, right? Like they're the it's one with the last one. It's like a kill a minute. Yeah. Oh. Let's compare it to last game, right? Oh, oh wow. that was sick. What a player. Oh, and then he just walked oh. back in. Gets hit by the stun anyway. Sun strike. He can't run from heaven, boys. Resolution. And resolution got the experience for that one. Yeah. Good stuff for him. Level nine. At ten minutes. Legit. If you're VP right now, I think you need to coordinate. Like, your Centaur has to be there. Your Ember pretty much has to be there. Maybe try to get NS level 6 before the next engagement to make sure that you can have something to say, okay, we're going to take a fight and we actually have ults now. I'm Radiant's pretty surprised tower is that uh, NS has managed to kind of keep up in levels with Vanscor because Vanscor was part of the try line that was pretty successful and he's not even 6 yet on Bane. It was because of the kill on uh, Always Wanna Fly in mid. He got yeah. experience. You know. Yeah, also, I think the important thing about Virtus Pro is that A just picked up his uh, Blink Dagger. So it's, it's time to roll, boys. Get some kills. Orb of Venom. I love it. Yeah, oh, man. But you always go Orb of Venom in melee versus melee. Silent Silence uh, setting up a trap for Mag. They got a chase on him pretty well, prevent that Scourger. There we go. Ultimate, Blink, Centaur, Stomp, the Lightning Strike, and Fissure, everything on top, but there's no ensuing damage. And here comes the Doom on Arzar. Arzar's gonna go down, and Mag, he wants to turn things around. Here comes the Ember Spirit. He does not out there. Sentry, Sentry, there's the Dust, Roshan and the Chain should do it. They have a slight of this in 24 seconds. No, the Chain, there you go. Great kill. Pretty good trade for them. But the arrow went true here. But NS actually died in the process as well. And Roshan was Dyer's killed by Empire while well, this fight happened, attack. so maybe not. Okay, <laughs> maybe not the best trade in the never world. Never mind. I was like, I got. They got the safe lane mag. They lost everything it's else. Like, yeah, they got a kill. Dyer's almost lost three heroes and attack. Roshan. <laughs> what? I think that's one of the strengths is having an extra invoker Radiant's when you're dire. Is that if you summon attack. your forward spirits at the right time, you can actually just make two sets of them. Yeah. And it's pretty darn easy to take Roshan. With that kind of a team. Especially with Diabolic E. Oh, he don't even have Diabolic E. Oh, he's a Lightning Lord, man. He's like, he's doing his best Zeus impression right now. Actually, so is Resolution. Oh, there. Sunstrike isn't really Lightning, but it's still a global ability that you can just Radiant's feel like you can't run from heaven. Is under attack. Does it mean it comes from heaven? Well, it sky, literally right? comes from heaven. Yeah, you, yeah. Can't, you can't call them. Oh, always want to fly. Getting dove onto the tower. The Fiend's Grip. 
Arsard, all of a sudden, the saddest centaur in the entire planet. Fun squad. That Doom just shows up with the mech. And with this mech, I think they could just roll down. They got this one point in the Diabolic Edict. They're gonna take down some towers. And really, one point is like the same as four point when you're taking towers. Dyer's top what? tower is under attack. <laughs> it's not really the that same. That doesn't make it's any not sense. Even close to it, it, no, no, no. The thing is, you have the same animation, right? Like, Every point is just as good as the last. Fortified. Yeah, That's I know. Thing. My point is. Oh, They're no. not gonna run into you when you have Edic on. Oh, oh NS, the sun strike. Oh, He's the gonna place. use illusion to cancel the nightmare. And oh, the arrow. Again. Bag seemingly does not care. NS is super dead because he ate an arrow. Oh, oh stampede! Oh, my nope. <laughs> my then. Pet, thanks you. Pet, thanks okay, so I think it's fair to say that this game is getting a little bit out of hand. Yes. Radiant's Empire pretty much, I would say, attack. won all three lanes. Yes. The top went kind of incentive server. Yeah, Radiant's slightly. But when you're bold. having two lanes lose as hard as VPs were losing, Dyer's I think you need more than just like a, I'm doing okay. You need Radiant's a, oh yeah, I, this guy's like level one attack. and like nine. <laughs> like that's how you make the comeback, right? Like you win a lane so hard that that hero can make a transition to mid game and just help you win the fights. Yeah. And even though there's a blink on him, I just oh. don't really think it matters. Uh, it might matter for this skill. Resolution is going to get bursted down. Here comes the Ember Spear as well as he wants to join in and get these experience. That's one kill. They just know. All right, here comes Sam. He's going to be chasing the Sentinel well on the back line. Static Storm being used. They want the Invoker dead. TP out. Do you have any sun? Yes, they do. They do get one kill. Blink forward for Silent. Do you have any more chase? Like, here comes the Silent. They want to join in for the fray. Oh, here comes Zoom. Do they have the mech use yet? No, mech has, has not mech. been used yet. Big mech coming out, the arrow's gonna no, miss. Here comes Ember Spirit. He wants more, but Ember Spirit in the wrong neighborhood! And he's gonna get bursted down from all of these spells. Empire mech gets mech, don't even need mech. Alright, select the Tori one. That's, the, that's both the creeps mech. That's what it's for, it's for pushing. Mag didn't really take any damage there. No. Like, he was just walking around with Scorched Earth the whole Radiant's time, just being like, yep, you guys can't hit me because I have 1500 health. And I think that's actually one of the glaring issues that VP have right now, is that Radiant's their lanes are very susceptible to just being pressured because they have so many melee heroes. Yeah. Like, they have four melee in one range. Sure, like, Earthshaker and Disruptor are pretty good Radiant's defensive heroes, but I think they attack. kind of needed a ranged kind of farmer to be able to sit in the lane against Bane, Marana, Lashrak. And certainly dying in the jungle at level one before the creep wave spawn didn't help either. But I think even in the circumstances that Empire didn't get those two kills, they still would have pretty handedly won bottom lane. Radiant's yeah, and they're even going to get the top uh, offlane tier two in Radiant's the meantime. Bottom tower so they have an 11 attack. kill lead. They've got a tower lead. They and it's only 14 lead. minutes in. Jotham is half the level of everyone on Empire as well. He's level yeah. four at 15 minutes into the game. The poor lad. Look. I mean, Earth is really just a fissure, so it's all good. Well, yeah. you like you, Earthshaker you, needs a team who actually does damage because he is Radiant's only really there for defensive tower, purposes unless attack. you get like a really good block. Yeah. And I think that's one of the situations where you could Radiant's say maybe like having fallen. a PL and a disruptor isn't so bad if you get the block. Or but they weren't they weren't even able to play aggressive. Like they they couldn't ever get in a position where Jotam is like, okay, I can block. It was just nope. Our bottom lane is going very poorly. Our PL had like one CS at nine minutes in. And then things kind of just steamrolled from there. Middle tower is under and Parson's attack. loading up. They're going to get this tier 2. Honestly, I do Radiant's think a siege high they really want. Yeah. I mean, there is Static Storm that is a fairly dangerous ultimate. But uh, aside from that. Well, Ember Spirit's pretty good at defending high ground, to be honest. Is he? No, I think so. He doesn't have max yeah, light. Yeah. Max light. Here comes the wings. They're gonna go resolution. The static storm hits on three people. That's a pretty big deal. The mech's gonna come in. They're gonna try to burst everybody down. Mag strong enough. He gets nightmare. Can he pop his heal? BKP gets activated. And look at the fight. It's going the other way. The level and item advantage all on Team Empire's side. Not going great, lads. Share the bottle, but Silent. Come on. Be that was just a sheer farm difference right there. Yep. Why Empire won that fight. Like, VP having that kind Radiant's of initiation, of full duration, Static attack. Storm and a Kinetic Field on two heroes, that should have been like a win, a one fight. Yeah, Ember right. Spirit doing his remnants on top of all of them as well. Radiant's middle yeah, tower but it's just fallen. sheer farm discrepancy right now that's allowing Radiant's Empire to just go high ground in such an early attack. stage in the game. And because of the fact that VP have a PL who kind of needs at least one item, I would say, maybe even two, if you're going to be going for Radiance to be Radiance's able to try to fight, uh, it just looks like Empire is able to go high ground, and they're going to be able to get two racks. Well, one lane of racks, but two racks. And they have a mech cooldown again as well, so if they want to stay, they definitely can. Fallen. I would just rotate top and just say, hey, let's go, guys. Perfect. Oh, nope. oh. Ooh, wait, it's gonna be a triple stun coming in here from our centaur. But the mech is too strong. Mech OP, guys. At this stage of the game, it's amazing oh, how much health it actually, like percentage wise. 
Yeah, 250 health at 17 minutes in is actually quite a bit for yeah. most heroes. Yeah, the, I mean, the armor is pretty ridiculous at this stage as well. I think Doom in general is one of those heroes that is so unbelievably versatile that in a lot of lineups where you couldn't Radiant's really fit a hero that greedy, attack. Doom can still work. Yeah. Because you can get things like the Wolf Aura that he currently has that gives your team just a flat 30% damage, which allows you to push. I mean, there's not a lot of heroes in the game where you can say, yeah, he farms fast and he can push. Here comes the initiation, though. BKB is going to pop by Mag. He just wants to go in. Silent Bell stuck inside of the kinetic field and Static Storm. Going to be going down. Jotam gets a kill with the Fissure. Mag still just going completely ham. Takes out NS. Resolution actually secures that. The stream player didn't use Mech when Murano was dying. That's cool. It was on cooldown. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was down. Look, man. Don't be, don't be throwing out insults for any basis. Told, I have nothing to say. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, man. You're doing I'll never great. doubt you again. You're doing great, Mark. Keep it up. <laughs> Relax, you're doing fine. <laughs> that thing infuriates me. Why? Whenever people would say that bind in game, now that I'm muted, like permanently now, apparently. It's every... nothing but well played. Shane, because you're a toxic you're doing player. Fine. I am the least toxic player. You're a I've... toxic member of the community. You know what's actually almost more irritating for you to say thanks for the game than it is for you to just be mad? Yeah, but... Well. Like, I know it's just how you are. I'm just like... Well, is it is that because he's the only person that says it? Let's say, like, we're in an alternate universe and once the game ends, instead of GG, or maybe in addition to the GG, everybody says thanks for the game. I don't know. I even no, say... I'd still be mad. I say have a nice day as well. Yeah. I know, maybe it's more that. Yeah, you can't, you see the thing is, you can't pick Ember and win the game and just like, have a nice day, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it, it, easily you can be misconstrued. I don't know. If you can't be nice to people, what, what can you be? Mean? No, I can't be mean. I know you can't, it's like not in you. It doesn't work. You just don't have the genetics for it, man. All right. I tried once. We gotta, we gotta... I cried for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, we got a 19 minute drums on, on PL. Radiance bottom tower. That's a team fight. Attack. So, I mean, he's got less net worth than the Bane on Empire. It ain't great. <gasps> Air Chicken Radiance Big Tucker. This is it, lads. Yo, Cell Boots get played, yeah, he's man. 40 gold away. Yo, he should just fissure one of these. <laughs> I love how he's just like plastered in the base. He's like, my feet are not leaving this well. Oh, he can get that creepy yeah, yes. All right, get all right. Get back. Got it. Come on, Jotam. This is your time. No, the thing is, remember that three-man static storm? Oh. And didn't do nothing? Yeah, yeah, this is it, man. Nah, man, he's gonna get himself killed by the Necro 3. He's gonna, oh, oh and he's gonna eat six-time repair damage and like some random lightning Oh strike. my god, this is it, man. All right, here we go. Jot him, Waiting Jot for the biggest him. echo. Centaur's in position, they're gonna go in. Ah, BKB though! The grip oh. comes on Centaur. Huge <laughs> man echo! The deeps are here, but nobody's dying just yet because Mag, the OP player, pops the OP Mag. They're gonna go on Illidan. Illidan's dead, and Empire is just running the, <laughs> like sheeps getting slaughtered. <laughs> you know, if there wasn't like a 20,000 gold deficit for VP, Radiance I think that 3 man echo from John might have been victory. enough to at least turn A fight. But because they had mech, and mag had like BKB, mech, almost AC, every item in the game, and it was only 20 minutes in, mm -hmm. I think it becomes relatively difficult to just say, oh yeah, this Echo is totally going to be able to bring us back in. And not only that, but since it was a naked blink, he didn't even have enough mana for Enchant Totem.